Hey there guys. So today I thought we'd do a little tech video involving my 2002 Murray Widebody custom off-road lawnmower. And what we're going to actually do today is re-swap the pulley on the engine. Now we're not going for anything crazy. I've currently got about a four and a half, maybe a five inch pulley on the engine right now. We're swapping up to a six. Nothing crazy like I said. Should be a noticeable difference but nothing extreme. Also went out and got myself one of these uh, red belts. These come highly recommended from guys who race lawnmowers who uh, you know they do they deal with a lot of uh, clutch friction. They're going significantly faster than I am and they all highly recommend these belts so we're gonna give one of these red belts a try. I've never tried one of these. I bought it online for about 20 bucks. I've got some adjustable tensioner pulleys so hopefully we can just get everything dialed in and working perfect. So my tractor is obviously significantly different than most because of its customized chassis and everything that I've done to it. I have to pull the hood off and remove the steering wheel shaft right up and out of the way and then I actually have to tip the whole tractor up on one side, remove the left side rear tire, and remove the left side inner shield and the bottom skid plate shield. Now once I've got all that ripped apart, you can see the network of pulleys underneath here. You got a clutch pulley there, clutch pulley there, that's the adjustable tensioner pulley. Back there you can see my 5 inch transmission pulley. And up here is the engine pulley and that is the one we'll be currently swapping today. Um, actually the outside dimension of this pulley is the same as my new pulley, but the well on the inside where the, the uh, V-belt actually sits is significantly different. I'll show you what I mean once I get it removed. But I got a lot of work to do before I can start swapping the front pulley, so I gotta get this belt off of here and get the new one pretty much in place. And then I can swap that front pulley out and hopefully it just goes smoothly. So there! We finally got ourselves a belt! Stupid thing! Why is it gonna be such a pain in the ass to change it? I don't know. I guess it's a small price to pay for not having a belt that falls off all the time, but now we can get started on that front pulley. Okay, so this is usually the funnest part. We gotta remove this crank bolt and get this uh, engine pulley off of here and this is usually one of the tougher things to do but I'm hoping this goes easy with the rattle gun so here we go yep I'm just gently tapping this you don't want to go smashing on your engine pulley that's not a good idea if it doesn't want to come off like mine seems to be giving me a little bit of trouble best thing to do is try some heat all you really want to do here is, uh, is heat the metal uh, pulley shaft up without actually heating the engine shaft. Um, so you want to heat it pretty hot and pretty quick just to heat up the outside. But uh, if you have a significant oil leak on your tractor or something along those lines, don't, don't be stupid and put heat or fire anywhere near it because you'll just start a huge fire and then no one will have a tractor at all and that's, that's just not good. Alright, so I've spent quite a few minutes messing with this thing and I cannot get it off this engine, probably due to the fact that I dunk it into swamps uh, pretty much every weekend. So I'm sure it's a little rust welded in place, uh, at least a little bit. So it's not really wanting to come off of there, so I refuse to give up and I know I'm going to get this pulley off of here at some point. So what I've concocted here is I'm going to make my own little pulley puller, if you will. What I'm going to do here is slip this uh, little washer up into here to protect the end of the engine shaft and the threads. And I'm going to take this large nut and bolt and I'm going to weld the nut right into the outside edge of this pulley tube. If this is welded to the pulley, as I screw this in, it should effectively draw the pulley off of the shaft. So that's the plan right now. Um, you can't really use a three jaw puller on this because it'll just bend the pulley and fall off and I can't use my harmonic balance puller which is what I usually like to use because well I'd have to drill holes in the pulley and put bolts behind it to get the thing to even attach itself so that's not gonna work but this seems like the quickest easiest way so I'm gonna give it a try and if it doesn't work then uh, I'll be cutting the sucker off the engine and it's threading in I don't know what's going on I think the pulley's coming off. Yes, sir. 
So now that I got this stupid pulley off the tractor, I can finally show you the difference in size between the two of these, and as you can plainly see in front of you right now, they look like they're exactly the same size, and you'd be 100% correct. That is a 6-inch pulley, and this is a 6-inch pulley. But, there's a significant difference on the inner diameter of these pulleys. This one has a deep well, this one does not. Upon measuring these two surfaces, I've found that this one is actually three and a half inches inside diameter, and this one is actually four and a half inches inside diameter. So that's a whole inch larger. So that should make a fairly significant difference to the tractor, even though both pulleys are essentially the same outside diameter. And here's something else you're really gonna wanna pay attention to is your pulley alignment. So as you can see right now, this one's a little too high, and if I flip it over, it's a little too low. So I'm going to have to figure out a spacer to put on this side of the shaft so when I put this new pulley in my belt isn't out of alignment and doesn't basically destroy my brand new belt immediately. Alright so here's an update on the progress. I've got that pulley just kind of stuck in there in the place. There's no keyway, nothing in there. Uh, you can see the red belt is now also in place and I am freaking out because this 92 inch belt is not long enough. But that's not the only problem. There's an even bigger problem that I just noticed in doing this. Now that I don't have all these other conglomeration network of pulleys here in the, in the middle, I've got perfect alignment between my front and rear transmission pulley. And as I was screwing around in here, I noticed and maybe you can see it too, maybe not, but it looks like that belt is feeding off the bottom of that pulley. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I was kind of like, wow, that's weird. Must be that my pulley is bent. But how could the pulley be bent? Because it spins at, you know, 3600 RPM, so it would wobble a lot. Must mean the transmission's bent. But how could the transmission be bent? The transmission is a transmission. Then I really got to looking, and apparently in my early years of fabricating this whole off-road lawnmower thing I in haste welded my transaxle mounts into place however now I've realized that that mount isn't even actually in there straight it's really hard to see on camera I don't even know if you guys can even pick this up but the whole thing is cocked forward like that but yeah so it kinda sucks cuz that basically means you know, if I wanted to do this, which I kind of want to do, because I don't like things being screwed up, um, I gotta cut these mounts off, the back, both sides, and the front mounts. I gotta remove this exhaust. The transmission's obviously gotta get removed. And I got some new mounts that I can put back into place where they originally were, and bolt them in and weld them in, and make sure they're built like a brick shit house. and this transmission will be perfectly level again, which would be nice. That way I wouldn't destroy pulleys and belts and everything would be happy actually I'd probably probably my belt gets really hot doing that I would imagine so I guess I'm glad I caught this although now it means that this project has turned into significantly more than just a front pulley swap so yeah so unfortunately um, I'm not gonna be driving this thing today which I was really hoping to do because uh, well it was gonna be badass I, let's face it it was gonna be even faster than it was I mean that would have been pretty sweet so now I'm thinking I gotta pull that belt off of there, I gotta hoist the whole ass end of this thing up into the air, get the transmission out of there, I mean I'm, I've already got the transmission halfway removed anyway so I might as well just do it, get the exhaust off which would be easy, and then just cut those mounts off and just basically put the new ones in place, you're gonna have to remeasure for a brand new belt because the whole transmission is gonna move back about an inch which is gonna stretch the wheelbase back about an inch which is actually a good thing. I gotta order another belt once I figure out what size it is, so that's gonna be about a week for that. Um, yeah, it really sucks guys, but this happens sometimes. Uh, not everything goes as planned, so... I'm paying for it, you're paying for it, we're all paying for it. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, I'm gonna cut it off right here. Uh, I'm a little stressed out now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work hacking this transmission out of here and, and doing all that, so... Stay tuned for part two of this, uh video excapade and hopefully by the end of part two we will have a running driving off-road Murray lawnmower so that'll be cool and it'll go even faster so that'll be awesome so thanks for watching you guys drop me a like if you like the video and I'll see you on the next video